What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I want the ban list to drop just about more than anybody. I'm waiting for that no sooner than to expire, get to do my videos, so I can have my haircut that's no sooner than that ban list drops, because I don't want to be stuck in the barber's chair, scissors to my head, and looking at it, and seeing, oh my gosh, it's dropped, I'm stuck here. So yeah, that's the life of a content creator, right? Ban list time. But these buyouts are downright horrendous. Maybe it's a mix of Time Wizard format and people hoping people come over from Master Duel and go, this wasn't the Yu-Gi-Oh from back in my day, but I'm looking at Yu-Gi-Oh and going for some of the most terrible cards from back in your day. Confiscation was, to be fair, pretty darn cheap at just around $15 for a first edition. Its lowest are now around $30, and I do feel like this could be even a $40-ish card. It quickly goes up to that on the front page, but no sales and anywhere near that and you see a ton of light plays getting bought out today even i just don't deal in top end damaged cards the sales rates are awful the complaints are almost always awful when getting things in but a huge amount of spending on both this and the forceful century today now if your actual banless theory is like oh max c is definitely coming back due to master duel in the conversation and this is a way to counter it you've lost your marbles even in the ocg they peeled cross out designator back on the list to let maxi fly free i i don't understand this take on the ban list but i do understand maybe you thought yeah at 30 dollars this feels cheap it should be around 50 and it got bought out to the point of 69 not so nice 70 dollars quickly 75 to 80 for this old school ultra rare and they are pieces of history of the game they feel good to activate they feel terrible when they activate on you and the ultimate troll card outside side of maybe self-destruct button fiber jar has been $30 for the longest time and bought out to the tune of around 50 plus dollars even if this gets unbanned what do you really expect i do agree for like sealed value near mint first editions it's one of the better cards in legacy of darkness itself a memorable set that doesn't have a ton of first edition cards people are just clamoring after but really this these are the choices of ban list buyouts at this stage this is like the coping stage copium really it is of looking forward to a ban list and just shooting where you hope you don't lose money long term because cards have been so stable in what you're putting into them i truly don't understand the outside of maybe time wizard format for having goat and having these kind of hand ripped cards either but let me know your thoughts is this maybe some hard maxi copium what do you think is happening with these kinds of buys? And speaking of classic, we do know that DT is bringing back its classic foiling in Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. Naturia Beast getting bought out right here for its DT is kind of eyebrow raising. All the way to 95, 110 quickly. And you can see the graph going that way where it actually appears down. But the recent sales, it was all the way down to having like a couple of cheaper than that so very interesting like a bit ago near mint at 83 and the sales rate kicking back up for this hmm couple sales the past weeks burstinatrix is up in price for her secret rare after the larth came out i feel like these secret rares are understated sometimes they look amazing and she's around the hundred dollars it's been near 80 for a while and it looks like there were sales much cheaper though 60 and under 60 before there was one at 80 as the last couple near mints and you can see how much it varies 60 95 back there around christmas people getting very froggy with their tcg player gift cards i suppose but the lark does point out that when stuff like this comes out and people up their collections with these kinds of cards they reach backwards sometimes and complete a collection a row or a page in a binder and it can cause other things to actually come off of the market to a degree when they're reminded of what exists Within the metagame, there's a couple of moves. Torn Scale Starlight Rare is spiking up in very low on quantities now. You can see the graph just continuing to go up here. It's the deck that I'm kind of on right now, both in Master Duel and preparing for real life, with the Brave Tokens finally here to update the deck. I do feel like it's a really great choice, and you still have the super budget versions of Torn Scale, thanks to the Mega 10, and the Secret Rare is not so bad either. If you want a shiny copy that looks nice, the Mega 
Megatons, of course, bringing that price down to its knees. A ton under $15, but Starlight Rares, they're just on another level of rarity. Speaking of that, Alpha the Master of Beast was getting bought out. This seems to be due to the ability to get it out of the deck with, uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna murder the name, aren't I? I think it's like the... <laughs> It's out of Burst of Destiny. I don't want to do this, guys. I swear it's not to extend content. I just... I know it's a world... Small World. I was actually right. That was the second name I was guessing, but then I knew it was the card. Small World's able to search this. It's a way to out a lot of things, and it ends up as an option that you want to have around, depending on the deck you have. And with that being accessed, well, the Starlight Rare, you see it was down, down, down. Now it's spiking back up, up, up. One at 170 before it's 190 before it's quickly. 200 where it was selling for much much cheaper and tons of movement in the past couple days on that starlight there so yeah alpha and torn scale starlights and regular alphas getting a lot of traction here you can even see that huge jump up as people go back for that secret rare over the mega pack version speaking of mega packs Crossout Designator is really getting a ton of traction. While you see this dip in the graph, it's a couple cheap ones that sold. It's around quickly $37 to $39 with a ton of sales just jumping around depending on the sellers between that $36 to $39. I feel like a ton of eyes are on this. Again, the conversation, Max C, and it not being limited in the TCG, unlikely to get limited at any point with the Waves of 10 still having these on shelves and us not having had a lot of time to play it. I think this card will develop to a degree in the TCG, and a lot of people saw it fall down to 32 and went, okay, it's getting really cheap. My playset is 100 for the option that this is and how hard it is to pull, and also looking back towards Dragoon, just going, it's time to get it. I also know a lot of content creators push this, and myself included in the conversation, I was like, I think I think it's pretty cheap sub 40 i still think it's a great tool to have in your arsenal for later or something that you could speculate on to a degree but it, not all cards are just rocket ships that skyrocket i agree this has a lot of potential though i wouldn't like be betting necessarily just on that but also Think about if you want to deck build with this kind of a card and if you want to go in with it rather than just blind buying it. Think about your backup option options if you get stuck with it in a sense. Would you really be playing it? Magician Souls is doing nothing but going down despite Battle of Chaos being on the horizon. I like this a lot because Legendary Duelist Season 3 is also over there kind of helping force the price down, but that will be six months away versus now and... I I feel like with this card, we will see some funky things happen with this graph eventually, but they're $35 available right now. I know a lot of people were saying if it got to around 30, they'd be buying. It's starting to get close to that chance, and I might not wait too much longer for it really to get just there. You're about at $100 for your playset of these, and they look really nice as secret rare if you're wanting to play them the moment Battle of Chaos comes out. Remember, time and use of a product is also money to a degree. While a looming maybe reprint is there, you also have to factor in how many tournaments did I get to play and what prizing did this win me if I was aiming to be able to use it. But if you just want it casually in a side deck, a character deck, or something like that, yes, then I might be waiting then. But if you plan to play this in actual tournaments, I wouldn't be waiting a whole half a year for a reprint. I would think about getting that sooner than later, especially with how the February market tends to really heat up this is a weird one emergency teleport just got a reprint but the first edition ultra which is a mid rarity thanks to there being an ultimate is getting bought out uh, 23 dollars before it's quickly 30 dollars. this is the only listing that's down here and i guess they have a picture maybe uh it looks pretty nice yeah this is a weird one to me why why are you all buying this out when it just got a reprint maybe i guess it didn't get a collector rare. i haven't seen the full list of collector rares. i actually need to look at that but a weird one to be being bought out right now when the ulti is the true highest rarity. And there's plenty of other ultras of e Telly 2, if I recall, actually. Let me see if I can just get back there real quick. Yeah, you have other ultras like the High Speed Riders. I get it's not original. Ghost from the Past is also an ultra. And the brand new rare, if you know you, you're not bothered by not playing a foil version, will be much cheaper than this once the word pre-sale is off the screen. Infernoid Un Nanku going up for the first edition versions. Let's actually go that. And almost all versions bought out. There's only 18 listings. 
near mint now around 650 quickly towards 10 i think infernoids were getting some other reprints if i recall recently like decatron finally so going for stuff like a nunku i guess makes a little bit of sense especially highest rarity if you just want access to the deck this is one of those that always comes back into the metagame surprises us when it shouldn't taking down a top cut or two in a row before disappearing for a long time all right thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation hopefully the ban list drops at some point soon so i can stop seeing weird buyouts like this unless we're talking time wizard format instead of actual terrible theory like it's because of back c